Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to show you the steps to set up Apache Tomcat server on Google Cloud Platform. So click the link in the description box to get to this listing of Google Cloud's marketplace. And from here, you want to create a new virtual machine with this image installed inside it. So simply click on launch. And then from this page, you can customize your virtual machine. So give the name that you want, choose the region that you want. I am going to go with Europe. Scroll down, choose the size that you require, scroll down even more, click on accept the agreement and click on deploy. And then you need to wait for a little while for this virtual machine to be deployed. And while we are waiting, click the link in the description box to get to this blog post which is a step by step guide on how to set up Apache Tomcat on Linux in Azure, AWS and GCP. And once the deployment is complete, you can access the SSH terminal using this button that says SSH. And then you would have to wait for a little while for this terminal to connect to the SSH terminal of the virtual machine. And while we are waiting, go back to your Google Cloud, click on this hamburger icon, scroll down, go to Compute Engine and go to VM Instances. And then scroll right and copy your external IP, open a new tab, paste your IP and hit enter. But make sure to add in the port number 8080 because Tomcat Apache listens on port number 8080, 8443 and 8009. Now as you can see our Apache Tomcat is up and running on our Google Cloud Virtual Machine. But there is a slight problem. If I try to access the server status, you can see that I get denied. And if I try to access the manager app or the host manager, my access gets denied. That is because we need to set the rules for Tomcat users and then we need to set the portal or the remote IP for accessing this particular manager app. So head over to your SSH terminal. From here you want to find the file which is Tomcat users. For that type in the command sudo space find space forward slash space hyphen name and then the file name which is tomcat hyphen users dot xml and hit enter. As you can see this is the path to my file so I'm going to copy this path I'm going to type in sudo nano and I'm going to paste this path and hit enter. So in this file I want to add the username and the passwords and the roles for my users for apache tomcat. So Come to this section and remove these comments and change the role name to admin GUI and change the other role name to manager GUI. And then you can create an ID with a username and a password. So I'm simply going to create one with a username admin and the password being admin as well. And for the roles, I'm going to change the roles to admin GUI and manager GUI. Make sure to put this comma between the two roles and then save the file by you pressing the keys Control plus O and then Control plus X to exit the file. Now that you have set the roles, you need to restart the Tomcat service. So for that, type in the command sudo systemctl restart tomcat. Now you want to change the IP address from where you can access this manager app. For that, we need to find the context files. So type in the command sudo find forward slash hyphen name context.xml and then hit enter. So these are the two files that we need to edit. So copy the pad to the first file Type in the command sudo nano and then paste the directory and hit enter. Now inside here, if you want to access your manager app from a particular IP address or a static IP address, then you would type that IP address over here. But if you're like me and you want to just give access to anyone with this particular IP address and the ID which we have just created with the username admin and password admin, in that case simply comment out this whole value tag. So use the less than symbol, exclamation mark and two hyphens and then at the end of the value tag you need to put two hyphens and the greater than symbol. So that is how you comment out a section. So press Ctrl O, hit enter and then press Ctrl X. Similarly, we need to do the same exact thing in the second file. So copy the path to the second file, type in sudo nano paste in the directory and hit enter. And just like we did in the first file, we need to comment out this value tag. And once you're done, you need to restart the service of Tomcat as well. So type in the command sudo systemctl restart tomcat and hit enter. After the system services have been restarted, you can go back to your server, hit refresh and then click on either the server status app, manager app or the host manager. So I'm simply going to click on server status. And as you can see, it is asking for the username and the password. So I'm going to type in my username which was admin and the password which was also admin. And after typing in the password, you can see that I'm able to log into my status page. 
Similarly, if I go back to the dashboard and click on host manager, it is going to ask me for the password and the username. So I'm going to type that in, hit enter, and you can see that I'm able to access the virtual host manager. So that is how you set up the Apache Tomcat on Google Cloud Platform. So if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, leave them in the comment box. And if this video has helped you in any way, so leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to visit the links in the description box to come to the listing of the marketplace or to visit the blog post which is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Apache Tomcat on Google Cloud, AWS and Azure.